The only thing that was kind of different about me as a child was that I was ultra sensitive, way more than the other kids. Physically I was very sensitive and also emotionally. My parents told me that I would cry very easily. They never had to shout at me if they just said something. Uh, Louise, don't do that. I would start crying and uh, I was kind of very in tune, like uh, intuitively. I could feel people and know what they were feeling. And um, yeah, I guess I was just very intuitive. When I was uh, growing up, one of the interesting things that happened is that children used to flock around me. People used to call me like the Pied Piper because I'd have this line of kids following me wherever I went. So when it came to deciding what to study, it just seemed like a natural step to work with kids. And um, I decided to become a teacher. It seems like that that teaching experience in a way was leading me to preparing me for the work that I'm doing now because I really learned a lot of skills that are transferable um, like being able to talk in front of big groups of people and feeling comfortable with that. I tend to follow my feeling in the moment and what feels aligned for me to do right now and it's a little bit like breadcrumbs so when I follow my inner guidance then another door opens and it leads to something else so I can't say where it's gonna go I think it's not up to me I, I, I leave that to the big universe supporting energetically others and we are, as you may say, visiting others, um, but we are only channeling with Louise in this way and the reason for that is that her particular makeup is a most complete match for the energy and information that we wish to relay to you. The nature of your reality is not so um, one-dimensional as you as many of you experience it that there is only this here and now there is an in, infinite uh, number of dimensions of timelines and it's it's so complex for your minds to grasp the vastness and complexity of it it is a time now when humanity is right ready to understand and receive this information and in this information there is an energetic encoding in the language in the transmission which is supporting you in your blossoming in your flowering into what we would refer to as a new species everything is connected to everything everything is energy every thought that you're having is connected it's not localized it's not just your thoughts and your emotions and your experience if you were to zoom out you would recognize that there is pure consciousness it's all interconnected everything that you can imagine is happening or has happened we feel that your understanding of reality is rather different than how we perceive from our perspective. Um, let us say that what you are experiencing as your physical, seemingly physical realm is non-existent, to put it bluntly to you. And we know that this is rather confusing for your mind because it feels so dense and real. Um, it is manifesting and demanifesting it is instantaneously so fast that you're not seeing it it seems like a continuum to you yes 
But actually, all that is here is pure consciousness. So it is the nature of the universe that it is constantly in motion, in fluctuation. And what is most important for you to become aware of, from our perspective, is where you direct your attention. So, you have the choice to direct your attention on your thoughts or on your emotions but what would happen if you were to relax that attention just for a moment and drop it fully into this moment right now yes so that you're not focused on the thought you relax your attention and you experience something more vast, something that is beyond the limitation of the mind-created identity, who you think you are. It is simply a sensation of being, of existing, of pure alert, silent. This is pure potential. This is your true nature. You must recognize that you are not the story you believe yourself to be. And once you disidentify from that story, you have the capacity to access the unlimited nature of your true existence. And it is from this place, from this place, that unconditional love will pour through your being because that is your true nature. You don't need to upgrade your personality. You don't need to change yourself in order to become more loving. You just have to remember who you really are. You just have to reconnect within and it will effortlessly flow through you because you, you are, are love, love itself. itself. You must let go of your ideas of how things should be. And you must connect with your feeling. You see, your higher self is communicating to you constantly. And while you're identified with your mind and your thoughts and your energy is focused up here and you're thinking about what he said to me, what I said to her, what I'm going to do, what will make me happy, you're not feeling in your body. And when you're not in your body, you're missing the communication that's coming through. It's acting like a, a barrier here from your higher self through to your heart, which is your true power center. So we recommend that you first begin to simply observe the thoughts. Don't try to stop your thoughts. Do not judge your thoughts or label your thoughts as bad or wrong. They should not be here. Simply observe them and recognize that there is something which is observing the thought and there is the thought. Therefore, you cannot be the thought because the thoughts come and the thoughts go. And what is constant is that which is aware of the thoughts. Focus your attention here and simply rest and notice. The thoughts will begin to process. There's a lot of energy there. And if there hasn't been recognition of this space beyond the thought, then it will take a while for the thoughts to burn themselves out. So just be patient with your process and sit down and follow your breath. That, that gives the mind something to do and let the thoughts come go, come go. Like you are the pure blue sky and the clouds are coming and going in the sky. 
The clouds are the thoughts. Come and go, come and go. Sometimes the whole sky is filled with dark, heavy clouds and maybe it doesn't feel good. But you know that that's going to pass too. The, sky, the blue sky is always there. And as you begin to do this and the energy of your thoughts begins to quieten down, which it will do with time, you bring your attention into the body and you begin to feel in your body. And many of you haven't done this for a long time because it feels unpleasant for you in the body. Because you're taught from a young age, or rather you're not taught, we should say, how to process energies and emotions. And this is one of the reasons we're here, to support you in remembering how to do this. We feel it will assist you greatly. Of course, we're not imposing anything upon you. We're just sharing our perspective and we're sharing what we think would be uh, beneficial for you. And if it feels good for you, please try it out for yourselves. And if you think we're talking total garbage, then throw it to the trash and follow what's true for you. We're just here to share our perspective. And we're very happy to connect with you in this way and to share with you. So you bring your attention into the body and you begin to feel. Become aware of your feet and see if you can feel how it feels inside the feet. Feeling your legs, feeling your arms. And many of you will be experiencing sensations in the gut area in the chest area and in the throat area because many of you have energetic blockages in this area and it is like the layers of an onion and if you want to get to the core you've got to peel off all the layers and how do you peel off all the layers you must meet this energy which has been repressed inside of you and it happens from a very very young age even when you're in the womb you feel the unconscious repression of your mother's energy because most of the mothers, they were not conscious. They were not consciously feeling in the body. They were contracting when they experienced something uncomfortable. And your system felt that and your system contracted. And when your system contracted, it closes up, it tightens up and the energy cannot flow freely. And so it becomes stuck. It becomes dense. And then every time after that that you experience a trauma in your life, and it doesn't necessarily need to be a big trauma, it can be something just your parents not fully seeing you. It was very painful for you as a child. Your system contracted. And with each contraction, this energy built up layers and layers of density. And now as you're opening, as you're feeling the call to connect within, to find true happiness, to experience divine love. You must meet these layers and you must process this energy. And you do that by allowing yourself to feel it. Tune into your body, follow your breath, and let yourself feel. Drop into the body, surrender, and feel what's there. As you uncover layer by layer by layer by layer, you will reveal the sweetest nectar that you could ever imagine. When something is aligned for you, when your higher self is communicating to you, yes, do this, follow this, act on this, you will feel in your system an openness, an excitement. Um, at that point, out of the habitual nature of your mind complex, what may happen is the mind will jump in and it will start to analyze and it will say, oh no, we can't do that because of this and this terrible thing could happen and it will all be, most of it probably be fear-based. Don't pay attention to your mind. Trust that 
feeling. Act on that feeling. That is your higher self communicating to you, yes, this is the fastest path for you to move on. The, the path which will bring you into alignment with your highest truth. And when something presents itself in the present moment and your system feels contracted, it just feels off, it doesn't feel right, even if your mind is telling you, yes, this will bring me happiness, this is right for me, this is what my parents told me I should do, this is what everyone else is doing, mm -mm. don't listen to your mind, listen to that feeling. And this is how your inner guidance system begins to realign, begins to reharmonize, because it's like it's got a bit rusty. You weren't taught how to use it, you, most of you, your mind muscles got very developed, like you're going to the gym and you're doing the biceps every day and the biceps become huge and your legs are like tiny little sticks. Well, that's what happens to your inner guidance system. Your mind is controlling the show and the intuition is rather underdeveloped from our perspective. So that is what we would advise for you. If you notice you're repeating a pattern in your life, then it's time to take a step back and have a look at it because you're going round in circles and you're not seeing your lesson. Everything that you experience in the physical realm is simply a reflection of that which exists within you, your inner experience. So quit wasting your time trying to fix everything on the outside, trying to strive for everything. It's like an uphill battle. Turn your attention around, it's an inside job. When you get it clear in here, the outside will fall into place naturally. It's like you're going about it the wrong way, most of you. You're out here doing, doing, thinking, thinking, and it would be so much easier if you simply surrendered and became still. And allowed life to live through you. Life living itself, just as it does with nature. have a desire, have a look at your desire and ask yourself, is this desire something that I want to satisfy my egoic needs or is this a desire that is aligned with the highest truth, the highest truth for all, for all. And it's very simple to see and we recommend that when you see that your desire is something that wants to fulfill a missing part of you. For example, a desire, I need a big house. If I get a big house, then I'll be happy. We're not saying there's anything wrong with having a big house. It's just wonderful if you have a big house or if you want that. Turn around and have a look. Actually, what is it that I'm feeling inside of myself? Where is this desire born from? What is it coming from? And many times you'll find it's coming from a feeling of lack, a sensation of lack. Something is missing, something is not here. And that is your higher self communicating to you that you're disconnected in a way. It's not possible really to be disconnected, but you're experiencing disconnection from that which is the truth of your being. And that is why you are experiencing this feeling of lack, of emptiness. And we recommend that you do not seek to fulfill this in the outside with substances, with materialism, with relationships, which many of you are doing most of the time as we observe you in every single moment, you're so so drastically, extremely hard trying to avoid the pain of disconnection and lack within that you're numbing yourself like zombies. And we say this with the most love. We love you so dearly. 
we simply wish for you to awaken out of this dream because we know that you have a potential which is far greater and in in the in the moments you're taking out your phones you're looking at your phones and you're watching your tv or you're talking to someone or you're eating something or you're trying to get kisses from your partner anything grasping 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 so as not to feel the pain of your separation the greatest gift that you can give to yourself the most self-loving thing that you can do is to let yourself feel that pain and hold that pain in love and as you hold that pain in love when you become still simply sit still sit in silence feel the pain let yourself drop your attention into that pain in your body in your emotions surrender fully to it and even make a prayer to be supported through that then you will experience what it feels to be whole and that Connection within is the only thing that can bring you lasting fulfillment. Yes, if you get the big house, it will make you happy for a short time. But then you need something else. The next thing, the next thing, the next thing. It's never enough. So when you have a desire, go to the root of this desire. Go to the source and find if it's really coming from a true desire. Many of you do this with your relationships. You're seeking another person to make you whole. You don't need another person, you're already whole. You're a whole being. You're just experiencing yourself as not whole. And if you meet this inner feeling first and you feel complete, I don't need anybody else, I'm so happy by myself, and then you have the desire it would be nice for me to play with someone to support someone else on their journey and receive that support then a beautiful friend will come into your life and you have a beautiful flowering relationship we're not dependent on each other where the other person is not there to serve the needs of your inner pain yes we highly recommend that you find out what is your highest passion what is your excitement what is it that brings you joy and you act on that and you don't let the opinions of others hold you back you're not living for them you're living for you and you don't let the fears of your tiny mind with its crazy ideas hold you back you go for it you follow your passion you you will ignite a power inside of you. It's like a power switch is turned on and the more you act on this passion, the, the brighter this light inside gets and the more power it gets, the more momentum it gets and you will be unstoppable. Whatever it is your heart desires, if it is a true desire of the universe, nothing can stop that. only one or is only you you're experiencing separation but there is the one that is experiencing itself through a multitude of physical body systems so the same life force that exists in you that exists in Louise is the same being and when you look at each other it's the same one looking at itself Well, it is not so complex. It is the natural movement of consciousness. That is all. We know that this answer does not satisfy your mind. Your minds don't like simplicity. They like complexity. <laughs> if only you knew how rewarded you would be if you allowed yourselves to be more simple. And what we speak of is an invitation for the death of the ego in order for 
the birth of truth in the heart, like a fire ignited, and the ego doesn't want to die. So if somebody is strongly identified with the ego, it will start to go into panic mode when we're speaking about these things. And they'll say, it is nonsense, turn off this junk. <laughs> and that is okay. The ego will die in due time. If you're open and you're ready and you're ripe, then we're here to support you in the death of your ego. In the dethroning of that which is not the truth of who you are. We're not saying there's anything wrong with ego. It's wonderful that you have an ego. It's part of your design. The problem comes when you're fully identified with it to the point that you've forgotten who you are. And you think that that's what you are, the story you created. Yeah. With, with ideas of separation, right and wrong. You don't need to remember. It has always been with you. It is always here. This is what we want for you, to have a direct experience of what we speak of. And it is very simple. It is so simple. It is so close to you that you're overlooking it. You must become still and recognize there is something which is always here. No word for it. It is an experience. And once you've experienced it, once you have tasted it, there will be no going back. If we look at it from another level, we, not this vast level, if we zoom in a little, we would say it is imperative that you awaken for your own sake. Of course, on the bigger picture, nothing can be destroyed, and if it's destroyed, it's okay. But we don't want to see you experiencing unnecessary suffering when somebody commits a crime or an act of violence. You must understand that there is so much suffering inside of that person that it is overflowing out of them onto others and in a way they are not able to do different because they do not have the consciousness to do different. Allow yourself to feel compassion for those experiencing immense suffering. If inside of you, you allow yourself to feel hatred, to mm, create more separation and division, he is wrong, I am right, then you're not really supporting the healing of humanity because this energy inside of you is throwing fuel on the fire with its name. So anything that happens, that triggers an emotion in you, is something for you to meet inside of yourself. It's, it's time to take individual responsibility. Take responsibility for yourself and your inner world primarily. Once you've cleaned up in here, then your system will open to higher levels of consciousness and light entering your system. As you're walking around, this light and consciousness will radiate, naturally affecting those around you. Just like when you heat up the molecules and they start to vibrate and they affect the other molecules. You're like walking molecules. So it is much more effective for you to meet your inner experience with love and heal your own inner pain than to point the finger at others and blame them. You see, once you understand this, everything will become clear to you. 
Everything you know nothing. Everything you've heard, everything you've read in books, forget it all. Only look at your direct experience right now. You must become quiet right now and have a look. Slow everything down. Something is seen. Something is hearing. So what is the eye? This eye, does it have a name? physical location. This is a wonderful search. This is the most beautiful search that we would encourage all of you to do. priority to know who you are. Part of you knows, yes? You feel it inside. A part of you knows that what we speak is true. You feel it in your body in some place. Close your eyes and have a look inside right now. How does it feel in your heart? So bring your attention into the heart and let yourself feel this experience. Really feel it. Surrender to it. Let yourself fully drop into it right now. Feel how it feels. Surrender your whole being to feeling this. Drop fully into it. So many of you are running away from your emotions in this way. And if you simply allow yourself to feel and meet and bring closer these darker shadows within, these fears within, what you will find is when you meet them, there are no monsters in the closet actually. There is only pain. And when the pain is met, it's transmuted into your natural state, which is love. Welcome home, dear friend. The place that you're actually experiencing everything is inside of yourself. And this is how the transformation happens. You will begin to vibrate at a higher frequency and more light and consciousness will enter your system, literally changing who you are with pure consciousness. You can move through time and space because they do not actually exist. It is accessible to you right here, right now.
that is the beauty of it. You see, the mind thinks that it has to get somewhere. It's always trying to get to the future, to get to the next moment. But if you relax your attention fully into this moment, you will recognize it's always here. It's so close that it's not even close because there's no distance. What if you, just for one moment, put down all your memories, everything you remember in your life, let go of that. Everything you desire or think about for the future, let go of that. Your name, let go. Your job, your role, your relationships, your personality, your beliefs, things that you like, things that you don't like, your preferences, drop it, drop it, drop it all. What remains? We wish to remind you that you are eternal being. But if you hear it from us, it is only words. And you can only choose to believe it or not believe it. We wish for you to know it as a direct experience. When you know your undestructible, infinite, nature, you will no longer have worries or fears of death. The good news is that this direct experience is accessible to you all right now. We wish to fire the arrow of truth directly into your heart and pierce it there. The future is unknown. It will unfold as it needs to unfold. But when you recognize this movement of the mind and disidentify yourself from it, what will happen is that you will drop so fully into the now that you will experience another dimension to your reality. And from this dimension, a natural unfolding will occur from a place of peace within. This is what you truly search for, actually. Can you feel joy and peace and contentment and bliss with this moment as it is right now? Anything any of you think you want, it's because you think that thing will bring you happiness. We must end our communication with you now. We thank you so much for sharing with us today and for your genuine curiosity and for your honesty and your openness and your sweetness of heart. We see you. We appreciate your divinity. We thank you for communicating with us. We send you much love and many blessings.